Hello students, I am your computer teacher of class 5th. My name is Rahul Soni. Today we will listen about types of software. It is chapter 2nd in the book. Computer software, system software, application software, utility software, it are the types of computer software. So first of all we should know about what is software. Let's come here. Let's listen about what is software. A computer is made up of many parts. These parts are classified into two basic types, hardware and software. The parts of a computer that we can touch and feel are called hardware. These hardware parts need instructions to work. Software is the set of instructions and data which make the hardware components. So now we are going to listen about next thing types of software. As we know that types of software it is two types system software and application software. In this picture what we see many of these software we use in daily life so let's come next topic system software first of all we will listen this system software is important for the smooth running of all the components of the computer they are the programs which controls the overall operations so as we see in this picture windows 7 software or and AVG software so these are the software which is controlling many operations and many programs in the computer next thing we comes here system software this is already we have listened now we are going to listen about classification of system software you are thinking that we have listened software, system software so what is the classification there are three types of classification operating system language processor and utility so first of all we are going to listen about operating system operating system you have already read about the operating system in your earlier class operating system is the most important part and basic software which is required for the computer to work it is required to run software like ms word paint etc as you see in this picture windows 10 look like this ios look like this android look like this and other software also look like this and next point comes here functions of operating system so in this we listen about operating system is like the coordinate in the school who manages all the activities in a school like setting up the timetable, taking care of the students, parents and teachers, scheduling the exams, organizing their events etc. OS manages all the resource of the computer like its memory, input, output devices, processor, etc. In this picture, already we see here user interface, memory management, multitasking, security, peripheral management. Next point, we come here. Some of the main functions of OS are memory management, processor management device management file management and security is you can easily understand by this diagram functions os next point comes here language processor the computer can understand programs written only in binary or machine language which consist zeros and ones but the software is created by using high level languages like 
C, C++, Java, Basic, etc. So by this picture, easily you can understand. Computer understand only machine language and binary. Next topic: utility software. These pro are programs which are helpful in the smooth operations of the computer. Some utilities are used to protect the computer from virus attack. Some help in taking a backup of the data, etc. Some important utilities are antivirus software, backup utility, disk defragmenter, and compression utility, etc. Let's learn, listen about next point, application software. These are software used for a specific purpose. Application software is specific to take to the take it is designed for and they are divided into two categories special purpose software and general purpose software. First topic in application software we will listen about general purpose software general purpose software are developed to satisfy the requirement of many users these are usually available in the form of packages the they are easily available and reasonably priced and there are different software for different purposes such as so it is important so let's we are going to listen about next point in this first of all we will listen about word processing software these are used to create documents like letters bio data reports posters etc with formatted text and graphics ms word ms perfect writer are examples of such softwares so in this we see picture these are very helpful in word processing so let's listen about next point spreadsheet packages these are used to manage and organize numeric data which involves a lot of calculations or for making graphs and charts Lotus 1 2 3 and MS Excel are some examples. Let's listen about graphic software. These are used to draw figure using the computer digitally edit and modify photos. Examples include Paint, Illustrator, Corel Draw, Photoshop, Picasa, etc. Next point very useful nowadays desktop publishing software also called DTP software these are used for creating designs for browsers newsletters magazines etc page maker MS publisher page plus R example of such software in this picture UCPS, PM, AI, FM, ID, CorelDRAW, and Adobe. So these are very helpful in DTP. Next point comes here communication software. These are used to access and surf the internet and also to send and receive email examples are Internet Explorer, Netscape, Communicator, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome. In this picture, you are well known about these softwares. I know every one of you know a software name which is visible in this picture. So let's come to the topic next. Database Management System. In short, we call it DBMS. These are used to create and manage a database that can store, retrieve, 
information it can store database management system these are used to create and manage a database that can store retrieve information it can store related data of a computer to form a student database employee database etc examples include ms access mysql and oracle in this picture easily you understand database dbms app user app. so by this we understand this next point let's listen about multimedia presentation software these are used to create slide show and presentation which can be viewed on soft screen using an overhead projector examples include ms powerpoint and flash nowadays these are very useful in designing field okay next point let's listen special purpose software software special purpose software are special software made for a company school or an organization as per their need or requirement for example accounting software billing software stock and inventory software and stock and inventory software after that payroll software school software and ticket software so in this picture what we see google chrome is there mozilla firefox is there recycle bin is there and this internet explorer also there so why this we understand accounting software that records and keep the financial accounts of a company and next one what we said billing software it is used to different places of preparing bills payroll is also used for preparing the salaries of employees stock and inventory software is used by company to keep track of stock orders sales etc school software to keep track track the data of attendance performance data of the students let's recap whatever we have listened in this class software can classified system software application software already we have listened and next point what we have listened system software also we have listened are the programs which control the overall operations of the computers and those also classified operating system language processor utility software next point we have listened about operating system and language processor utility software and application software so these all things we have listened in this class i hope you understand well so perform well whenever i give you the homework of class so next thing i am going to explain you about activity time what do you have to do in activity time in this class whatever you have learned and you will get uh, easily that notes of second chapter i will send you in this class i am giving you activity time work so first point is make a chart of different types of application software paste picture to okay again i am repeating make a chart of the different types of application software paste picture to next point make list of all the software being in your home and school lab school computer lab classify them as systems application software so i hope you understand well 